I do not know how you manage your DeFi portfolio, but I like to always have some stable coin so I can buy more of the coins I like during a dip. I think somewhere between 10 and 20% is a decent approach depending on how risk averse you are. Hey friends, Petro here, welcome back to BlockchainFi. In this video, I'll go over my favorite stable coin farms on the Phantom network. Of course, there are some risks involved in this, especially when you invest in a liquidity pool. And the risk of this is that a stablecoin can depeg itself, right? And that can lose its value and then you can lose a lot of money. I will not go too deep into that. I will just leave that out there since I am in DeFi. I never heard about a coin that did that. So for now, I'll just stick to the most popular ones that I know are decent backed. All right, the first protocol I will have a look at is SpookySwap. As you know already, SpookySwap, it's one of my favorite protocols on the Phantom blockchain. Please remember that I'm not a financial advisor and nothing in this video is financial advice. So on SpookySwap, to see all these farms, you need to go here in this tab farm and I will sort this by APRs and usually the stablecoin farms have the lowest APR and I will go straight down and try to see what we can find here. And I see actually only two farms with stablecoins and the first one is USDC MY which offers 8.72% and USDC TUSD which offers close to 11%. And we see that the total value locked in it's quite decent for this one as well. So on spooky swap looks like the best one to go for is this one right here USDC TUSD. Yes, that's it. Now let's move forward to Beethoven X. Here I clicked on this tab right here stablecoin pools and if I sort this after APR we can see what we have here. The largest one is this one right here, Steady Bits Earn Boosted, which offers 14.63% APR. And this one has DAI and uh, USDC in it. So this would be the best one actually to use. I do not know though for how long it's going to last because maybe it's boosted just for a short period of time. I don't know. But also the pool value is the second largest in this category. So it's definitely a good one. If I would not consider this one, then the next one is this USDC, USDT and MIM. But of course, as long as this one right here will have the highest APR, I will definitely use this one and follow closely and see if this APR will drop. All right. So, so far, the best APR we have is this one right here, close to 15%. Now, the next one I will go to it's spirit swap and if i order this by apr and go down the page we can see this one right here frax usdc liquidity pool with 20.77 percent apr now let's see something else yeah meme usdc also has above 10 percent but this one is better and the liquidity in both of them it's quite close so no reason to go in this one instead of this one right here so frax usdc so that's it frax ESDC liquidity pool for 12.77%. The next one is Creditum. And what do we see here? We can see that this one offers a 19.51% credit and the liquidity in this pool is close to 30 million USD. So this is by far the best one so far. Now, from all these projects I talked so far, this is the one that I know the least about. So it's important to do your own research before you invest in a new platform and make sure that you don't take a too big of a risk to endanger your portfolio. Cool, now let's go to the next one. Liquid Driver doesn't have too many stablecoin farms. It has only this one right here called Tree Pool version 2. And this pool has MIM, USDT and USDC and has a total value locked in of 11 million USD. And the APR for this one is 13%, which is pretty decent. The next one, it's Yearn, which is one of my favorite protocols on Phantom. And this also offers the highest APY for this stable coin right here, dollar, with a whopping 21.02%. The catch with this pool right here is that the total value locked in, it's quite low. It's only $1 million. So if you compare this with the meme one, which is at $23.52 million, then it's a quite big difference. I would expect for this APY right here to drop more if it gets closer to this value right here because meme is more popular and more used, right? And it can generate more fees. So even though this pool right here offers this very high APY, I would choose this one over that one because of the liquidity in this pool, which is close to $30 million, which is even higher than what you have in this meme pool right here. Now, what is nice about this one is that you have only one asset. 
at the same time the risk can be higher because it's only one asset right if it becomes depegged you don't have another asset that you can still weather off some of the loss right you just lose everything but at the same time if you really believe in this token in meme you are protected from another token that you might not trust that it can hold the peg right so depends how you look at the situation i see meme as a quite solid stable coin so i would definitely go for this pool right here without any doubt at least for now so yeah there's that now if you are more adventurous and you want to involve some leverage in your trading but this is much higher risk you can lose your assets because you will use leverage and you can get liquidated i do not use this platform yet and i do not recommend you to do it without doing a very in-depth research before to be sure what you are doing we can see here you can go as high as 43 percent with this one but it's 10x leverage which i guess it will leave very little room to fail for this farm right here right so like i said very very cautious about this if i try this i would try with very small amount of money and try to understand exactly how the platform works and only after it's battle tested maybe i would expose myself more to it but so far in DeFi, i think it's already enough risk involved with all these protocols and all these smart contract vulnerabilities to add another one on top of it which is the liquidation so personally i would definitely not recommend to go for this for beginners and not with a lot of funds of course like i said this is a degen play do it at your own risk and don't use too much money because you most probably will lose it no offense now wrapping this up my favorite picks would be this platform right here and earn finance if i do some research and i get comfortable with this platform and i trust it then definitely i would choose this one it's definitely worth it for the apr it's higher right so if I want to go with a more secure protocol, I would choose this one. And if I want riskier and higher API, I would go with this one right here. Now it's time for you to tell me what are your favorite stablecoin farms on Phantom. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and see you next time.